You know, uh, the 1992 consensus refers to the fact that the two sides of the strait back in the 1991, 1992 mm -hmm. uh, agreed implicitly that mm -hmm. they differed on the definition of one China. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, on the Taipei side, we said the one China is, of course, the Republic of China, and we've been endorsing the sovereignty of the Republic of China since day one. Uh, so this 92 consensus, you know, now it's been more than 30 years, and mm -hmm. some people say it's been old enough. Let's mm -hmm. get something new. Mm -hmm. You know, I do not disagree with that, but you know, what I am really concerned about is that whether or not we can have something new that can really replace the 1992 consensus mm -hmm. and that can, um, at the same time, bring peace and stability back to the Taiwan Strait. Mm -hmm. I, I think, uh, so the spir spirit and principle mm -hmm. of the 1992 consensus, that is shelving the disputes, mm -hmm. seeking commonalities, mm -hmm. and starting from the functional cooperation issues, mm -hmm. I think these are so important that cross relations can finally back to normalcy. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the thing is uh, President Xi Jinping doesn't take the 92 consensus as uh, one country, but two different interpretation, That's right? That's not his definition. Right, so, so I mean, but, but this is, would be a challenging for people who believe in this notion. So maybe you, you can add up uh, later, but uh, DSG Yang, so what's your take on this? 92 consensus is a hurdle between Taiwan and, and China. And it, it is a consensus with multiple versions mm -hmm. as time goes. And mm -hmm. as Albert has mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, Xi Jinping's version of 92 consensus, one country, two system. He mm. made it really clear. Mm -hmm. So this consensus was not accepted. Mm -hmm. It will never be accepted by people who pursue mm -hmm. freedom and democracy in Taiwan. So mm -hmm. this is thus a consensus needs to be uh, put away mm -hmm. and we, we go for something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Ambassador Zhao, so yeah. what about <coughs> uh, Kirby's idea about 92 consensus? Well, I'd like to, uh, you know, first, you know, was say that the, uh, the 1992 consensus has been uh, uh, you know, understanding or you know, interpretation mm -hmm. over 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, over 30, I think. So the time has changed. Mm -hmm. So any, any important historical understanding has to comply with, uh, with the change of the times. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why uh, Ke Wenzhe, he never said he is objective to any uh, consensus, but he is not say that we should continue favor this uh, so-called consensus. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, uh, you know uh, the KMT's idea, similarly, Mr. Kovinza is of the opinion that this uh, uh, is about time for us to, to consider advocating for a new consensus mm -hmm. to replace the old consensus. Mm -hmm. The new one to replace the old one as the basis, a new basis for the cross-strait relations. Mm -hmm. And also, Mr. Kerr is strongly, uh, you know, suggesting that the, uh, what matters, what concerns more is that this new consensus mm -hmm. should be formulated through an open and transparent mm -hmm. dialogue. 